Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you've got a particularly frustrating health challenge that you need help with, we're here for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase products right off of the website, brightsideben.com. And of course, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, you can do that right off the website or by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, or just get, get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. Call 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. All right. Good morning. Welcome to the Brightside, your morning dose of nutritional clarity and life clarity. Because if we're sick or if we're at least not maximally or optimally healthy, we can't really enjoy our lives fully. I want you to be excited to be alive, to start your day, to be here. That's my mission on the bright side. I think sometimes we go about our lives, we forget to be excited. We're so busy paying bills and paying our taxes and feeding our families and cleaning the garage, we forget there's this element of being alive that we had when we were kids that has somehow has evaporated from our lives. It's called excitement or enthusiasm, which comes from the Greek term for with God. The world beats us up. The world beats us down. It's designed to beat us down, not necessarily intentionally, but it's built into the nature of the world. It's, it's not like the world was consciously designed to be difficult. It's just the way it is. The world beats us down. The fact that the world beats us down is part of the nature of reality. It's called entropy. It's one of the basic laws of physics. Newton called it the, uh, uh, the second law of thermodynamics. And this basically states that over time, everything's going to fall apart. It's why stuff happens, as they say. There's only one way we can slow down this entropy process. We can't stop it, but we can slow it down. The only way to slow down entropy is by applying energy. In the case of our day-to-day -day lives, that means putting energy into the system we call our body and into our lives. Disease, what we call disease, degeneration is entropy. It's going to happen anyway, but our job is to slow it down. And the only way to slow it down is to put energy into the system. Energy into the system can slow down the entropic force. We put energy into our bodies. We put energy into our lives. We put energy into our bodies through the mighty, mighty 90 essential nutrients, oxygen as well. And we put energy into our lives by being excited from a physiologic perspective the power of nutri uh, nutrition and fats and carbs and the mighty 90 is, can be represented psychologically as excitement. Excitement is anti-entropy, just like nutrition is anti-entropy. And just like oxygen 
is anti-entropy, can be anti-entropy. From a psychological perspective, excitement is oxygen. Excitement is nutrition, to be excited about our lives, our projects, our jobs, the things we need to get done. Excitement is synonymous with energy. To be excited means to be energized. It's anti-entropy. To be excited about life slows down aging. It slows down entropy. It slows down the inevitable breakdown of the body. And if we're dealing with a de uh, some kind of degenerative disease crisis, it slows that down too. So if we're really interested in being healthy and strong and vital and slowing down the aging process, we want to be excited about our lives. We want to find something to be excited about. We can want to make something up to be excited about. You can generate excitement. You can just generate it whole cloth. Excitement is a, is, is a nutrient. It's an essential nutrient in the sense that we have to put it in our bodies if we're not generating it naturally. And basically, if we're not kids, we're not generating it naturally. When we're kids, we generate it naturally. If you're dealing with accelerated entropy or uh, you're accelerated aging, you're sick, create excitement. And this is where our PPD hormones come in. The PPD hormones, progesterone, pregnenolone, DHA, the ones we've been talking about, they are biochemical versions of excitement. They are the biochemical correlates of being excited to be alive. And this is why, this is why kids make PPD hormones naturally. They make high levels of their PPD hormones. They're excited to be alive. When we're excited to be alive, we're making PPD hormones. Babies are high PPD producers. They're excited to be alive. And as we age, we make less PPD hormones. We are less excited to be alive. Excitement is youth promoting. Excitement is anti-aging. It's what all successful octogenarians and nonagenarians and centenarians have in common. They're excited to be alive. That's people in their 80s and 90s and 100 for the most part. They're excited to be living. This excitement is what's missing when we're sick, when we're depressed, when we're aging rapidly, when we're diseased. Excitement is energy. Energy means building and growth and repair, and this occurs in a biochemical way, and it occurs in a psychological way. In bio terms of biochemistry, it occur occurs via the PPD hormones, the building hormones. Cortisol is our entropy hormone. It's our breakdown hormone. It's our aging hormone. When we're not excited to be alive, when we're, accelerated, when we're in accelerated aging mode, cortisol rules. When we're excited to be alive, when we're in building and repair mo mode, enthusiasm mode, the PPD hormones rule. The PPD hormones balance out cortisol. Excitement balances out cortisol. Excitement balances out the breakdown products of cortisol. This anti-cortisol effect of excitement and energy and the PPD hormones helps us build bone and muscle and cartilage. It develops the creative parts of the brain, helps us fight cancer. It helps us fight degenerative disease. Yes, that's true. You can fight your degenerative disease with joy for life. You can fight cancer with excitement. Being excited to be alive is biochemotherapy, biological chemotherapy. Being excited to be alive is anti-Alzheimer's, anti-Parkinson's. Being excited to be alive is especially important for cosmetic reasons, from the, for the health and the beauty of the skin. Excitement, excitement, to being, uh, excitement for being alive is anti-wrinkle. So it's not just physical, it's not just the internal part of the body, the cosmetic part of the body benefits as well. The superficial part of the body benefits as well. That's why plastic surgery and facelifts sometimes look really weird on people. If we're not joyful and excited to be alive and our skin is aging and then we go get a facelift, there's a, a kind of disconnect there. It just doesn't look right. There's a dissonance that looks odd. Yesterday we talked about, uh, we left off talking about the skin as a major beneficiary of DHEA's anti-cortisol effects. When we're under stress, the body will redirect resources to the inner part of the body. Maintenance of the skin is not required for immediate survival. That's true about a hair too, by the way. When we're in some kind of stressful situation, the body will redirect resources away from the hair and away from the skin, away from the parts of the body that it deems less necessary. And that's one of the reasons why hair loss and skin problems are, are one of the early signs of, of uh, nutritional deficiencies. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. Hey, we are back on 
the Brain Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific at 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. If you're interested in checking out our Longevity products, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And also, you might want to take a look at our Truth Skin Health products, Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream made with lots of vitamin C and retinol and our transdermal delivery matrix. And that's pretty much it. In our True Serum, you'll get some cholesterol and a couple little uh, herbal anti-inflammatory extracts, one from licorice and one from chamomile. But other than that, in our True Skin Health products, everything is active and functional, and there's nothing that you don't, your skin doesn't need and your, uh, nothing that your skin doesn't want. No silicon, no oil, no wax, no filler, no preservative, no fragrance, no water. Just 100% active and functional ingredients. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so DHEA is our anti-cortisol. It's our uh, pro-excitement, or at least it's an analog of excitement hormone, along with the other PP, uh, the other PPD hormones, progesterone and pregnenolone. DHEA gets converted into testosterone and estrogen. DHEA is an important skin hormone for beauty as well as for uh, as well as to leverage the skin's ability to to be a, a route of administration into the blood you can use DHEA topically to get your DHE levels up internally DHEA is a beauty hormone DHEA increases the production of collagen that's the protein that gives your skin its youthful suppleness from the Journal of Steroid Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, December 2008, researchers discovered DHEA genes, that is genes that are responsive to DHEA, in, in the skin of women who are using a cream. In other words, they put on the cream and their genes upregulate. They make genes. They make DHEA responsive genes. So you can actually manipulate your genetics by using DHEA topically. In other words, DHEA topically turns on anti-aging genetics. In this case, it turns on collagen producing genes. And at the same time, according to this study, it reduces the expression of genes that are associated with, uh, with breakdown. Researchers concluded, quote, DHEA could exert an anti-aging effect in the skin through stimulation of collagen synthesis, improved organization of the dermis while modulating skin cell metabolism, unquote. Another article from the British Journal of Dermatology, November 2010, researchers showed that DHEA acts to improve the skin's immune system, the skin's protective properties. And this could also potentially stimulate collagen. Researchers in this particular article concluded that topical DHEA could, quote, be used as an efficient and physiologic, physiological anti-aging skin ingredient, unquote. And yet another study from February 2008, this is the journal Maturitas. Scientists found that DHEA improves sebum secretion in menopausal women, helping alleviate dryness, thereby acting as a true, real moisturizer, as, as opposed to the standard moisturizers, which are wax and oil and sil uh, silicon and, and emulsifiers, give you a sense maybe of feeling like something's happening without anything really happening. DHEA is, a, is on the other hand, a real moisturizer. It upregulates your own moisture factors. Of course, when you're stimulating sebum production, sebum has antimicrobial compounds, so you're actually you're slowing down infection or irritation if you happen to be dealing with dermatitis. The article further showed that topical DHEA improves skin brightness, that is the glow to the skin. This is the real marker of skin health, by the way. It's not necessarily smoothness that says that your skin is healthy. There's a look to your skin, a, a, a circulation, a, a look of circulation or, or, or of improved circulation. And it appears as a glow or a sense of brightness. DHEA improves that. Along with, by the way, this is how vitamin A and vitamin C and maybe even alpha hydroxy acids work. This is one of the reasons that vitamin A and vitamin C and hydroxy acids are general health tonics for the skin, not just beauty enhancers, they're health tonics. When you upregulate circulation, when you improve circulation, you improve oxygen delivery, you improve nutrient delivery, you improve detoxification. 
Researchers found that topically applied DHEA can counteract the, the uh, crepey appearance of the skin, the papery appearance of the skin that's associated with aging. That's basically an atrophy of the dermis. That kind of thinning, crepey look that you get when you get older, that's a sign that the, th that the dermis is thinning. DHEA was shown to counteract this thinning effect. Same kind of building properties that you get with, uh, with DHEA in the muscle and, and the connective tissue in general in the body you get on the skin. Researchers finally concluded that topically applied DHEA could potentially, quote, act on skin processes related to wrinkles, unquote. This is all DHEA, and this is, this is not airy-fairy stuff. This is not sizzle. This is not Cindy Crawford. This is real hardcore science, and it works because this is how the body is designed. You don't need, when you're using topical skincare products, you don't need to have anything that's not already in the body. Everything is right in the skin, and if you can figure out a way to, to take advantage or to leverage these ingredients that are already in your skin in your topical skincare product, that's the product you want. That's why all my products have vitamin A and vitamin C in it. They're already in your skin. Your skin uses those things anyway. You can get DHEA cream on the internet. You can have it compounded for you by a pharmacist. You can make your own DHEA cream, get some DHEA powder, get some capsules and open up the capsules and sprinkle the powder into a cream or lotion. And if you uh, really want to beef up or enhance the benefits of DHEA cream, always mix it with vitamin E. Vitamin E is very interesting. It helps improve the penetration of things. It's a penetration enhancer, vitamin E is. And also in the case of DHEA, vitamin E acts to support the effects of DHEA. So if you're having a pharmacist, uh, if you're having a pharmacist compounded for you, ask him to throw in some DHEA, some vitamin E, or if you're doing it yourself, take some vitamin E, uh, take a vitamin E capsule maybe and stick a pin in it, squeeze in some vitamin E with your DHEA, mix it into a cream, make your own transdermal DHEA cream. Or I shouldn't say transdermal, make your own skin DHEA cream. Transdermal, there's a whole, that's a whole nother issue, the transdermal aspect of DHEA. DHEA has a transdermal effect. That is, it goes through the skin into the blood. There's two ways to use DHEA, on the skin and through the skin. On the skin, you get skin benefits. Through the skin, you'll get uh, DHEA levels in, in the blood. The skin is an organ of the body. We forget this. It's integrated with the body the way the, the liver is integrated with the body or the spleen is integrated with the body. But with the skin, we don't really see it as such because it's on the outside. It requires a kind of rethinking of how we approach the skin. When we, when we see it as an organ of the body, well, when we see it as an organ of the body, for one thing, we'll, we'll be less willing to put crap on top of it. But when we see it as an, or, uh, as an organ of the body, we can also see it as a way to get inside, inside in, into the inner milieu. This is what pharmaceutics is about. And this is what pharmacists study, transdermal penetration. The skin is integrated into the body, so you can put things in to, on the skin and get them inside the body. You've got to have some, some you got to know what you're doing in a formulation, but it can be done. The movement of substances uh, across the skin, trans the skin, through into the body is called transdermal penetration. This is where I first, this is where I learned how to, uh, that's where I learned the skills of being a skincare chemist was in pharmaceutics, was in studying how to deliver nutrients into the body through the skin or deliver medicines into the body through the skin. There's so lots of pharmaceutical transdermal medications, scopolamine, nicotine, uh, testosterone, estrogen creams, DHEA. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we are back on the bright side. We have lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients or skin health issues or challenges, health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your medication and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. And... Uh, Get your calls here in just a minute. A couple things, I, a couple of articles I think are interesting I want to tell you about. I don't know if I talked about this one yet. Human amyloid plaque acts as a natural antibiotic. Amyloid is a type of fiber that's produced in the brain in patients who have Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's dementia. And they're developing all kinds of vaccines and, and uh, strategies and medications to try to destroy these amyloid plaques or at least prevent the body from making them. And it turns out that these amyloid plaques are part of the immune system. They're natural antibiotics. 
which means that if you're producing lots of these things, your body's trying to do something. It's not like you're sick. It's the body's trying to protect itself. This is a fundamental idea when it comes to disease. The body is trying to protect itself from a lack of ease, disease. Disease is protection. Disease is always preceded by inflammation and inflammation is the manifestation of protection. When I say disease, I mean chronic, long-term, progressive disease, the kind that most of us are dealing with if we have a health challenge. Here's another good one. Adult asthma linked to higher dementia risk. Again, asthma is a protective response. So if you've got dementia issues, those are also defensive responses. It makes perfect sense that asthma and dementia would be linked. They're both manifestations of a body that's trying to protect itself. FDA approves first over-the-counter retinoid. How do you like this? Now you can get a fake vitamin A over-the-counter. It's called a, a Differin. Differin is a synthetic, synthetic retinoid, synthetic version of vitamin A. As if vitamin A was not good enough. Vitamin A is the go-to vitamin for anybody dealing with acne, both topically and internally. That's the, the logic behind my retinol cream, my retinol 5% gel, which is not only important for anti-aging, but also important for acne. And it's also the logic for using vitamin A as a supplement if you're dealing with acne. I have a new supplement, acne supplement coming out here in the next three or four weeks. And of course, it's going to feature vitamin A, which is the single most important skin vitamin, in my opinion, followed closely by vitamin C. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's go to Virginia, <clears throat> excuse me, and welcome Sean. Good morning, Sean. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Doing good. What's going on? Good. Sean? Um, I was just calling to, to get your views on supplement uh, creatine. It's the bomb. And what... It's awesome. And not, it's, you know, when you hear about creatine, most people think about weightlifting and bodybuilding. And it's, a, in my opinion, if you're serious about weightlifting and bodybuilding and an athlete, if you're a serious athlete, you need to be on creatine. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But because we're all athletes here, just living our lives as, as an athletic event, right? Just getting out of bed in the morning is an athletic event. Creatine helps everybody, especially old people, especially people with heart disease. It's great for your skin. It's great for your brain. It's great for recovering from surgery or from injury. It's just an amazing, amazing supplement. It's inexpensive. It's, it works. It's not a mighty 90 essential nutrient, of course. Your body can build creatine, but it's a heck of a supplement, in my opinion. Are you using it? Okay. Yeah, I, I just started again, and I've, I've had great results as far as building muscle um, in the past. And I've been on a, a stricter um, supplement regimen now, basically, since listening to your show. And Good. What are you noticing uh, anything? Are you, what are you well, noticing? I've, I've, about, about two weeks now, I've been back on it. Um, and this is the first time that I've been really seriously in the gym, probably in about two years. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I just wanted to see your view on it. And it's I'm awesome that, stuff. Uh, awesome awesome stuff. Yeah, a right. funny story about creatine. You know, uh, the guy who first brought creatine to the public, it, it, creatine's been around for a long time as a supplement, and uh, it's also been known about for a long time. But the guy who first brought it to public attention in the, was a guy from Colorado, actually, a guy from Denver uh, named Bill Phillips. And I actually knew Bill Phillips back in the early 1980s, and he was kind of like, he, he was a bodybuilder and he was a weightlifter, and he was sort of in the supplement business. And then one day, I don't know how it happened, but he got a of this creatine stuff he started selling it and he got the denver broncos to start using creatine this was back in the 90s in, in, around the middle 97 98 and coincidentally or not coincidentally all the broncos were on it they were getting all ripped and musk uh, shannon sharp and a bunch of these guys were developing these incredible mu uh, muscles and and biceps and it just looks super studly and uh, by coincidence or maybe not by coincidence they won two super bowls and uh one of the during the super bowl shannon sharp became, became a spokesperson for creatine and the lid was totally blown off of this secret supplement and bill phillips ended up selling his creatine company which is called eas sports now for gazillion dollars and everybody started to know about creatine i started selling it in my pharmacy by the pound i was going to different gyms and selling it right as that right as it started to become popular and i was making a lot of money selling pounds of creatine and then all of a sudden creatine was all over the place so i stopped doing it but creatine is a tremendous tremendous 
tremendous, tremendous supplement, in my opinion. Not a mighty 90 essential nutrient, but super, super important. All right, Sean? Wonderful. Thank you take very much, sir. Take care, man. Good to talk to you. All right, uh, let's go to uh, Georgia and welcome Cheryl to the bright side. What's going on, Cheryl? Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I called you yesterday. Um, I was wondering, um, this is about myself. I was diagnosed with uh, a macular pucker in one of my eyes. Okay. And pucker, then uh-huh. I was also diagnosed with macular degeneration, very early stages. I mean, I'm okay. still passing the test. I still read well. How old are you? Pucker. How old are you, Cheryl? Or uh, about I, how old are you? Well, I'm old. I'm older than dirt. No, no I'm, you're not. I'm I'm 66. I just okay. turned 66. Uh, I, I'm a cyclist. When I was 59, I rode 50 miles. So. You sound great. Yeah, you thank sound you. Great. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, anyway, um, the doctor said that the lining of my eye was had kind of pull loose and it hangs over in front of my field of vision mm-hmm. another doctor that before i went to this doctor took that's my the eye. pucker that's the pucker yeah, the i think pucker. he squeezed yeah. my eye i mean it hurt he took my eye in his hands and he just oh i don't don't the, i don't want to hear that man that's that's oh, going to yeah. make me ill here so bad and i saw the vessels in my eyes for a year and it finally cleared up and then i went okay. to this retina specialist the other one was a retina specialist, too, but they did you're, you're overthinking here, sweetheart. Cheryl, listen, you're overthinking. Let me tell you, you're, okay. ju- you're just falling apart. That's all. The mechanism doesn't matter. The specifics don't matter if you want to get better. It doesn't really okay. matter how it's happening. A, a pucker is, fi- is it's fibers, it's scar tissue. Uh, the, de- um, the macula degenerating represents the same phenomena. Your body's just breaking down, and the eye is, is very susceptible to break down because it's so fragile, number one, and it's constantly being bombarded by light, which is very aggressive, very high energy. So you're just basically breaking down. The specifics don't matter. This is the okay. fundamental idea of this program and the fundamental idea of everything I do and everything I talk about. It doesn't matter where. It matters that. Does that make sense, first of all? And then I'll tell you some specifics here. Yeah, it does. Okay. You You don't sound happy about it, or you sound like maybe you're running? Well, I'm just... I'm terrified that I'm going to go blind. And he well, wants to well let's, get, let's work on this. Let's work on he, this, okay? He, he wants to suck all the stuff out of my eye. Well, let's work he, on why this is happening, though. That, that's what we want to figure out yeah. is why is this happening? And so let me help you out when we come back from our break, okay? Okay. Don't, okay hang tight. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Talking to Cheryl in Georgia about uh, macular degeneration. You there, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir, I am. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, well, your concerns, your concerns about, about blindness are well-founded. I mean, macular degeneration is a cause of blindness, but there's lots you could do. Okay, so I'm going to, you got a pen? I'm going to run down a whole bunch of stuff. I want to get to some calls here, but I'm going to yeah, run down I'm, a bunch of stuff. I, I, I okay, good. The, I'm on the 90 for life, and I'm doing the eyes and everything that, Okay, um, good. You know. Stay on all that. Stay on all that. But here's a couple more things for you, okay? Okay. Uh, pigments are extremely important for eye health. So you want okay. to make sure that you're eating anything that's colored, vegetables and fruit-wise, and you want to mix your colored. And this is true. This is true for everybody dealing with eye with macular degeneration. Okay, this is this is my protocol for macular okay. degeneration. Okay, uh, pigments and fats, and you want to mix them together. You, have you heard me talk about this? I don't know if you've been listening to the program. I talk no, about this all I have the time. Not. No, okay. I, I have you not. take pigments. You take uh, fruits and veggies, veggies especially, and you mix them with fats. And this releases the pigments and makes it easier for your body to process them. And it's harder to do with fruits because most of the pigments and fruits are in the peels. But what you could do is you want to make sure you're eating the peels of fruits, first of all. I mean, if you can, okay. not bananas or, al- or oranges maybe, but certainly apples or whatever. You know, if you can eat the fruit, if yeah. you can ingest the peel, this is where the eye protection is. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, well, I did apples and blueberries. Okay, that's great. That's why berries are so good. Berries are high in pigment. They've got lots of juicy pigment, and also they're very. The pigment is uh, is uh, it, it, the peel. You eat the peel. So berries are, are probably the most important uh, eye health fruits. But really, it's the veggies that you want to look at. That's because sugar is a problem. And that's the right. second thing for macular degeneration is you want to keep your sugar down. There's a major okay. connection between right. sugar, and, and this is true about cataracts and glaucoma also. There's a major relationship between, between degeneration of the eye and sugar. 
and diabetes and insulin resistance. So the ketogenic diet will be perfect for you. The ketogenic diet is perfect for everyone, but especially if you've got this kind of condition. You know what that is? Right. You know? I'm doing it. I'm doing the ketogenic diet, and Good. I'm going to order me some sweeties just because my last Good. one was I was about to tell you. Yeah, selenium also. Selenium does double duty. I'm doing selenium, yes. Good. And I'm doing niacin. Well, hang on. I was going to tell you niacin. Good. Let me let me run through things because I'm going to run out of time here, okay? Okay. okay. So, yeah, I was going to tell you niacin. That's all. That's awesome. Uh, with the pigments, by the way, uh, and the fats, mix them in coconut oil because you'll get vitamin E in the coconut oil, and vitamin E is also important for the eye. You should be doing 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Continue on the BTT. I would throw in extra vitamin C, too, by the way, if it was me. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. These are all very important for the eye. Uh, in addition to selenium, they're antioxidants, and they'll help you with your sugar as well. And then uh, last but most certain, well, b uh, before I was going to tell you about the digestive system, hang on. Uh, there's a couple of interesting electrical nutrients. Remember, the eye is an electrical system. It's part of the brain. The eye is an is a outpost of the brain. It's connected right to the brain. So it's right. highly electrical, obviously. It's, it's dealing with electrical energy from the sun. Uh, so using electrolytes, potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, and coenzyme Q10. CoQ10, oil soluble, 100 milligrams a day. These, it's an electrical supplement. And then correcting, the, working on digestive health issues. If you have any, that's going to compromise your absorption of these nutrients. And if you have any digestive health issues, that's going to increase toxicity in the blood and make it harder to recover or, or heal or build. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Well, you said calcium, magnesium, and I'm trying to... Potassium. Oh, oh potassium, okay. Sodium. Okay. And chloride. Those are your main... Uh, electrolytes. The best way to get those is in veggie juices, which you should be eating, uh, drinking like they're going out of style. Veggie juices, that should be the bulk of your calories. And also, uh, 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 you'll get the electrolytes, of course, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Okay, now the uh, veggie juices. I've got a stuff called Perfect Green. That's I don't, I, I don't, I'm not, a, you know, if you're desperate, you're, you're, you know, on vacation and you can't make a veggie juice maybe, but homemade veggie juice, real vegetables, Vitamix. Okay. Best way to do it. Okay? okay. Yeah. Okay. All I, right. just, I didn't know. I hate this stuff. It tastes awful. <laughs> you know, if you're traveling, these powders are, are helpful, but you can't beat the real deal. You can't beat fresh veggie juice. Well, what about the um, sprayed stuff that you get in the stores? And I try to buy... Um, the sprayed I stuff? You mean like uh, the, the pesticide and weed? Yeah, fun, yeah, fun? yeah. You know, that is a bit major issue when you're juicing because what you're doing when you're juicing is you're drinking a concentrated toxic brew, and that is a major problem. Go organic, and then if you, if you can't do organic for whatever reason, wash them, wash them well. You know, make sure that you, you're washing all that stuff off as best as you can. But the, you know what? They're grown with the pesticides. It's already in the yeah. fruit. It's, it's in the plant itself. It's in the fruit or the vegetable itself. So you can wash it, but you're still going to be exposed. And, you know, there's certain things in the way we've constructed our world, you know, the way we've created our society, we're stuck with certain things that we can't get around. And that's just how it is. Uh, but do what you can do. Clean the veggie off or wash the veggies off and then uh, and then go organic wherever possible. Okay. Now, I just want to phrase report here. Uh, my, my knee that I injured in 2000 is healing. It no Good longer hurts. Oh, nice. And my lower back that I had surgery on, it's healing. I mean, I don't have any pain in it anymore. It's awesome. So I've That's been on the, from the Mighty yeah. 90? Yes. From Good the deal. And the glucogel. Oh, nice. Awesome. I am so excited about that. Are you a longevity rep? Yes. Oh, good deal. Like, Where are you at? A in brand, Georgia? A brand new one. I'm like, oh, I'm excited yeah. for you. In Georgia? Yeah, Georgia, where Fried is still alive. Uh -huh. who's, who'd you sign up under? Do you know? Uh, yeah, Ryan Coddington. Ryan, and who's the, who's the, uh, uh, whose line is that? You probably don't know the top Glidden, line. Glidden. It's Glidden. Oh, Glidden. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, well, nice to talk to you, Cheryl. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day. Good luck with everything. Thanks. All right. Okay, let's go to Skinny Robert. What, what is this, Fat Robert? Skinny Robert, right? Or is this, who am I, t Skinny Robert? Do I have Skinny Robert here? Roberto? I don't know where he went. Robert, we're connected? Okay, maybe he went away. All right, we'll leave him up here. Blake, let me know if he comes up. We just got a couple minutes anyway. 
Uh, well, I was going to say, if you want to call, you can give a shout at 844-236-6010. But you know what? We're out of time. So, Robert, you got to call back tomorrow. I don't know what you're going to discuss. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the DHEA. And the, I'm going to talk more about the ketogenic diet. I'm not going to, you know, there's so much about DHEA that I want to say, but I just, we've been talking about it for so long. I think I'm just going to wind it down tomorrow. I'll we'll tell you a little bit about something called 7-Keto DHEA that doesn't have the same libido-enhancing properties that DHEA has. That's one of the neat things about DHEA that we haven't talked about is it's it's very important for, for sexuality, especially if, as you get older. Uh, but uh, it, it, some of the side effects, the toxicities associated with DHEA are related to the fact that it helps you make testosterone or it supports the production of male hormone and female hormone. If you're worried about that, there's an alternative. We'll talk about that tomorrow uh, that will still get you some of the DHEA benefits without any of the side effects. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. And then we're going to start talking again about the ketogenic diet and nutrients that you can use to support the ketogenic diet. I haven't forgotten about the ketogenic diet. We have a new, uh, Longevity has a new product called the Keto FX, which will allow you to leverage the power of the ketogenic diet, which in my opinion is the most powerful way to eat. I've been talking about it without calling it the ketogenic diet. I've been talking about it pretty much my whole professional life. I consider it a modified ketogenic diet, the diet that I talk about, because you get more, perhaps not as much fat as you do in the ketogenic diet. Uh, but if you're looking for a way to lose weight and look, looking for a way to improve mental and brain, uh, brain functioning, cognitive functioning, you're dealing with dementia, uh, or you have blood sugar issues, or you're just interested in high performance, if you're an athlete, uh, if you're interested in improving oxygenation, if you're recovering from heart surgery, I mean, it's endless, really, all these incredible benefits that you get from the ketogenic diet. And we did touch upon it a couple months ago before we got went into our little digression with the PPD hormones, which we're going to wind down tomorrow. But I do want to talk about a few things more about the ketogenic diet, uh, especially especially nutrients that you can use to help enhance the ketogenic diet and nutrients that you should be using uh, to make sure that you're not nutritional, de nutritionally deficient when you're on the ketogenic diet. Good nutrition goes hand in hand with the ketogenic diet, which is a high protein, low carb diet, but good micronutrient intake is very important if you can really take advantage of the power of the ketogenic diet. And by the way, the ketogenic diet, which is a high fat diet, doesn't mean you can eat a lot of fat. It just means that you want most of your calories to come from fat. See the distinction? A lot of people feel like if they're on the ketogenic diet, they can go crazy with the calories. That's not the case. You still want to be low cal. You still want to be caloric, uh, restricting your calories as much as possible. But with the ketogenic diet, it's the percentage of your calories that come from fat, which is all, these are all things we'll be discussing tomorrow and in the coming days on the bright side. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my blog at criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com or brightsideben.com. You can purchase Young Jeopardy products right off the site, or you can join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. And of course, make sure you take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream at Truth Treat treatments.com. Have yourselves a beautiful, awesome, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.